fascinating to watch the way Boone manages the final four innings of this game tonight. That's ball one on Eric Hosmer. The last 11 games. And then the other elephant in the room is that Aroldis Chapman looks like. And right here, Aaron Boone being proactive. With Licky in the game, we mentioned Montas rather than extending Montas. Two balls and two strikes on Hosmer. And Vlad Guerrero Jr. Strike three called. One gone in the six. The problem is he hasn't been hit. Diamondbacks missed almost two full years in that span after Tommy John surgery. Sweeps this one in for a strike on Christian. His own to Arroyo is cut on and missed. Filthy pitch. Zero batting average this year. Last year it was 100. Just tried one there. Yeah. <laughs> Peace for the Red Sox right now. Trevor Story out. Arroyo's been hot. Another curve in the dirt. 29 against the American League East to this point. 2 2. Full count. Tied at 2 in the sixth inning. 3 2 to Arroyo is inside ball four. I was sold. <laughs> yeah, right there. That, that wasn't just, you know, saying the words. He, he truly believed that you could see that in lineup. So that means the burden is clearly on their star players. One and one on Duran. His divisional struggles have been at the forefront of the issues. Duran pokes one off the end of the bat. Diving attempt and catch. Andrew Benintendi, who's done that a time or two in this ballpark. Two gone, and now Reese McGuire. Pinpoint, strike one. Ball and a strike on McGuire. One time, the catching crew. Lewacki, Jason Veritek. Caught the corner, one and two. Longer development paying off now for Trevino. Sticking with the breaking ball, it's been the biggest issue for. Tight one in game one last night. Red Sox wanted in extras. Tight again here. Pop down the line and after a diving catch for out number two, an easy saunter over for out number three. Well, Red Sox fans have seen. In the fourth inning. Litke's pitch is down and away. One ball, no Trying to wait on it, pops it up, and that ball is caught by Cabrera. Here we talk. Doing a good job of getting this offense right back up to the plate. Harold Ramirez takes a swing and misses. It's breaking down and in. That's a shot toward the line and left, and that ball is lined out of here. Line drive home run by. Harold Ramirez on an 0 1 pitch. He pulled it to left and got it just over the wall. And the Rays now lead four to nine. What a great job right there by getting the barrel to the ball. I mean, it is. A, <laughs> wait till you see where this over the wall. Watch Aaron Boone. Watch how thrilled he is with this one. Which has popped up foul. Talking about how excited they are to have him back in the lineup. The one question mark is always when a guy comes back early off an of injury, is the timing going to be there? Mm. To keep it fair and hit it out. And Choi is out on strikes. David Peralta. Strong hair on Peralta, too. We don't give him enough. There's a credit. check swing and a little bouncer up the right side off the bat of Walls. And he has himself a base hit. Rizzo had to chase that ball up the right. He shows bunt, takes the pitch for a strike. Too high. End of the dirt picked out by Carino with a look toward first. In case one knows how aggressive these rays have been. A little popper on the left side, kind of Falefa there to make the catch. And a strike.
Line drive will be caught by Kinder Falafa. First choice back in the five runs second. Nine runs, ten. Looks like Tampa Bay Kikuchi is going to make his relief debut for the Blue Jays tonight. And obviously, first time down there, they want to give him some time to warm up. They want to give him a clean inning if they can. It looks like Kikuchi's coming out for the eighth. And maybe the ninth. Right? If he's okay. Just sit on it. Slow breaking ball down. And that's fouled off. But I, I don't know how you feel. I I'm there and John Schneider said, no, we, we need you up here. We're going to move to the bullpen and we'll, we'll have you in some low leverage type of. Swings at the first pitch and he pops it up for LeMahieu, the second baseman, coming over near the foul line to make the catch one down. Hit night, his first of the season for Springer. He has had two career five hit games, six hit game. He's had a six hit game? Wow. So, so I'm told. That's a good one. Under control and putting the bat on the ball tonight. Forcing it three and one. If hit games both as members as a member of the Astros as well. And now a five hit game as a member of the Blue Jays. Espinal up to second. How about George Springer? Six. He has raised his average now. 11 points. Guerrero grounds one sharply to third. And the Yankees will. Look at his hand. But yeah, the teammates, you know, when a guy's struggling. This time, Jordan last pitched on Saturday. So it looks like, you know, you always reach that point. Two and two. You know, you want him if there's a one run lead tomorrow, right? And maybe you'd still have him even if there's a one run lead. You end up burning him out for the next day. So we'll see how it plays out. A couple of runs tonight. And the curveball in at the top of the zone. Aaron Boone doesn't want to burn out anybody else out of his bullpen in this this blowout game. So he's letting lick. And that's outside two and two Royals seven to one so the Blue Jays need a win in order to keep pace with Tampa Bay as Kirk puts another good swing on the ball his second hit of the night here's Teoscar Hernandez and Teos his last time up drove in a couple of runs but Putting really quality at bats together all night long. 12 to be done on on your hair when you're Lourdes Gurriel Jr. It's never quite a finished product. To him today, Vladdy came by, and of course he gave him one of those you know, noogies on his head when he went by. Yeah. You know, just having a lot of two-two, and that runs in a full count. And swung on and missed. And look at the frustration for Teoscar. Can't believe that he missed that one. Two down. He's had a good night. Two hits, two RBIs tonight. A two for five night. Either by hit or by walk. And gets that slider or cutter in there. And there it is. Bichette with his first hit of the night. Up to second goes Kirk. And, and you were telling me earlier they might. This time as of today, remember it was the right shoulder that was injured. 
but he is now taking the return feed back from. And the expanded rosters are great, but it's only from 26 to 28. So whether Julian Merriweather resurfaces again, who knows? I heard those great words when they were talking about Tim Mays. It's talked to him the next couple of days, and he said, you know, it's not as bad as as it looked. Mm -hmm. And it'd be rehab. Get that arm back in shape. And it's fouled back. And we should also remember the blue. Swung on and missed. Chapman strikes out. A couple of men. Swing and a miss. Out. And you hope he can kind of laugh a little bit, but he'll be looking forward to getting that next opportunity because the numbers. He's waited his whole life for that opportunity. And. You know, for this one night, it didn't happen. One and two. Grounded foul. Now, 13 2 Yanks, bottom of the seven. Two and two. Both bullpens quiet. Grounded, foul. Three and two, and there's no place to put Murphy. And the pitch. Popped up. Infield fly rule called as Morwin Gonzalez makes the play. Pitch to Seth Brown. Is a foul ball. One in the seventh, still looking for more. And they get it. Third hit batter this inning. And that'll force in another run, and it's 13 to. One and one. And they signed him to a long term deal right away. Litke sets, two balls, two strikes, two outs. Foul back. 13 to three. Don't go to bed. Enjoy it. 2 2. Slow hopper to the right side and not in time as Langley. And a strike. Break out just one out. Two and two. It's sharply and grabbed by IKF. He goes the short way for the force. Go to the bottom of the eighth. One and oh. So the ace send nine batters to the plate. want to do is go have a tough first appearance and then you got to share it with your family and friends as Lukey Licky his first at bat and a strike from Licky and a strike 0 and 2 
along with John Flaherty and Meredith Morakovitz, I'm Michael Kay, and we thank you for. It's 13 4 Yankees over the A's. To actually have Lou Trevino up in a game that the Yankees were blowing the A's out. But circumstances dictated that, especially when Lipke started to struggle as well, because he has flashed the leather at short, that's for sure. But 0 for 3 at the plate. Popped up. Gonzalez. And Litke works a 1 2 3 8. So the A's go. Fly ball, right field, coming on Cabrera. He's got the plate on a hop. Second hit of the night for Kemp. Popped up, shallow left, coming on Ben Intendi to make the play. One down. Hey, please. Sure. And now he's hitting. Pitch outside, 1 and 0. And uh, he hit right handed. A lot of. Lot One and two. He's up 20 hits, the A's with eight. And Noisy continuing to battle. Four in Oakland, three in Anaheim, and then finally three in Tampa. Strike three. Noisy down looking. A's down. Brown got an RBI when he was hit by a pitch with the bases loaded. Swing and a miss. Otherwise, one first game of a 10-game road trip for the Yanks. And now the Yankees are a strike away. Swing and a miss, and that'll do it. Yankees win 13-4. They win their fourth straight game, and they...